Recently, I came across this paper by Ruben Ventura, which compares various blind SQL injection methods. I found out that there's an algorithm named SQL anding, which according to his results runs over two and a half times faster than bisection, which is what SQL map uses. I was very surprised to hear this, so I wanted to try and recreate these results myself. I first had to set up a target website which is vulnerable to a boolean blind SQL injection. I decided upon a password reset form where you enter a username, submit the form, and the server responds differently depending on if a user exists in the database. The SQL injection in this case happens because the server inserts the username parameter into the SQL query without any sanitization. A proof of this is entering the typical quote or one equals one which is not a real username, but still returns email was sent, indicating a successful SQL injection. The most popular blind SQL injection algorithm is the bisection algorithm. This is what SQL map uses, in fact. It works by repeatedly splitting the search area in half until there is only one possible value left. This is what the algorithm looks like in pseudocode. It may look complicated at first glance, but it really is not. Let's imagine we're trying to dump this password, which is 60 characters long. We assign an empty string to P and enter the first loop with I equals 1. ASCII characters have values from 0 to 127, so we define our search area with the lower bound L equals 0, and the upper bound H equals 127. Next, we step into the inner loop. We calculate the midpoint M of the search area as 63, and then use our SQL injection to ask the server if the ASCII value of the first character of password is between 0 and 63, inclusive. The server will say yes because the ASCII value of a dollar sign is 36, so we can set the upper bound H to 1 below the midpoint, or 62. For the next iteration, we calculate the midpoint M as 31, ask the server if the target character is between 0 and 31, and the server will say no so we raise the lower bound L to M plus 1, or 32. This repeats five more times until L becomes greater than H, at which point the value of the first character of the password will be stored in L, and we can append this to P. This repeats 59 more times until the entire password is stored in P. The bisection algorithm is fast. The problem, however, is that the seven requests inside the inner while loop depend on each other and must therefore be run in order. This means that only the outer loop can be parallelized. This is how I implemented it in Python. I used a thread pool to parallelize the outer for loop, and the inner while loop remains the same. The SQL anding algorithm works a little bit differently and involves thinking in terms of binary. This is how the pseudocode looks. Imagine we're targeting the same 60 character password as before. We assign an empty string to P, and step into the first loop with I equals 1. Here, we assign 0 to C, and step into the second loop with J equals 0. We ask the server, is the ASCII value of the first character of password, bitwise and, 2 to the power of 0, true or false? This question might not make a lot of sense at first until you realize SQL treats 0 as false and any other number as true. So when the server tells us no, we understand that the least significant bit is a zero. This repeats for 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which results in us knowing the bits of our target character are 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is 36 in decimal or a dollar sign. Both SQL ending and bisection require 7 requests to dump an ASCII character, so it might not seem like there's much of an advantage to either at first. However, in SQL anding, the queries we send to the server do not depend on each other and can be run in any order, which means that both loops can be parallelized and the algorithm should run much quicker than bisection in theory. This is how I implemented SQL anding in Python. I calculate all the jobs, which are just combinations of indices and power, and then feed this into a thread pool. Once the results of all the queries return, I simply turn the bits into characters. 
To compare the two algorithms, I set up the target website on my laptop and ran a Python script on my desktop PC that times both algorithms dumping the same password. I tested both algorithms 20 times per thread pool size, with pool sizes ranging from 1 to 40. From these times, I calculated the minimum, average, and maximum times per pool size per algorithm, and graphed them to be able to visually compare the two. Surprisingly, the curves look almost identical for both algorithms. They both take around 3 seconds to dump a password running on one thread, and they both approach 0.17 seconds as the pool size increases. Zooming in a little bit, we can see that the all-time minimum belongs to SQL ending at 0.179621 seconds using 28 threads. However, this is only barely, and I mean 0.006 seconds faster than bisection for the same pool size. Looking at the average times per pool size, we notice that bisection seems to run faster than SQL ending more often than not, and even when it's slower, it's only by a couple hundredths of a second. This certainly came as a surprise to me, as the paper by Rubin claimed SQL ending was over two and a half times faster than bisection, and in theory it would make sense since it could be fully parallelized and the bisection algorithm cannot. In any case, thank you for sticking around till the end of this video. I hope you learned something new. All the code from this video will be available in a GitHub repository linked down in the description. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and apart from that, I'll see you in the next one.